Mahi and sauteed potatoes, bro. That's uh, you gotta come over to the fish safe. <laughs> Wait, pause this. <laughs> what are you having? Bro? I got fish, bro. Fish, fish cutter, fish cutter. Right? season fish. The original. Yeah. I know, like, um, being a man, I used to raise it in the afternoon because I could distinctly remember you being an afternoon raiser. Super lit. Being someone that like manages so many business ventures, no, I have been to wake up in the morning. Have there been any diet changes, even if forced upon you, or if your own like conscious decision? Well, I mean, first of all, I eat breakfast now sometimes. <laughs> you know, before that was non-existent. So as a new meal to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I definitely get to see breakfast uh, from time to time now. <laughs> but you know, I still. If I, if I don't wake up early, I go sleep way later now, you know, because I got so much other things on my plate. So, you know, just be scheming at them five o'clock in the morning hours, it's see true. the sunrise a lot. So, Burning you know, the as a creative, at, you would know that too. Um, Burning definitely. the candle at both ends. Yeah, them that late, tired days. That late night vibes, so. I understand that. Man. Either, either early to rise or late right, to late. rise still. Yeah, it might fluctuate uh -huh. too. Just depends on what you're doing at the time, you know? Yeah, 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 definitely. People keep asking me though, when when are we going to get some music, bro? <laughs> we, know you as a, we know you as a rapper, dog. We know you as an artist. When can we get some new stuff? Well, you know, the, the music is the first love. The music always there will always be. Um, but, you know, we have some unfortunate circumstances um, that basically set me back a bit in terms of like the last last producer I was working with you know I dropped the intol intolerable cruelty intolerable cruelty yeah uh, a few years ago and did really well it did and then I know, was on there yeah you was you was definitely on there you oh, know yeah. everything that I do right? <laughs> yeah uh, the people bro. love tech but anyways <laughs> Um, yeah, the last producer I was working with mine, he, he went MIA on me, um, went MIA on everybody that was basically working out the studio, and I guess for personal reasons or whatever, um, but that kind of set me back because I like to be comfortable in, in whatever studio or whatever zone I'm in, for sure. and you know, he, you, you actually introduced me to the studio. Uh, <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that was all good, but I mean, I, I, I come to be real comfortable there and comfortable with who I was working with. And so just to move on and to find that next person that I was comfortable with was a, was a hard task for me, you know what I mean? I, I do some work in LA, that was cool, but still wasn't really vibing with the people out there that much. Um, come back home, basically, I didn't really know a, a bunch of hip hop producers in Barbados. Yeah, that was that was great. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the I, great producers in Barbados was the like, emerging no, but the, I yeah, understand what you mean. No. But I mean, like at that time, it was like everybody was like soca. All right, we're making the money, soca, calypso, crop over time. Yeah. So I, I went to studios that was all crop over, all calypso, and like I was just like these men, and I got my vibe. I was like, I'm doing it. So. But 2018, the music coming for sure, man. I, I promise, I promise the people 2018, it's the new music that come. I got a record for you, actually. I need Another Tough Gallus classic. I need, I need, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sunny at tempo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we we we're gonna talk about that. Like, yeah, I went through similar man. things for sure with the whole. You know, I feel like that's part of music. I feel like everybody in music went through some situation where it's like it's almost like part of that cliche story. <laughs> Where like you hear about the industry and how it goes and then something happens, you know. Let me see it, but yeah, but you never think it will happen to you, right? Yeah, it's just and it just come out to like like feel like I swear I just dropped the mixtape, everything was going good. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, the business was legit. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a shark and business now like that. Yeah, everything was just MIA. Like so it is what it is, but it is what it is. That's how that's how it went, you know. I, I remember too introducing you back when we did Urban, because that's how we met Warren. Warren yeah. is your childhood friend, also my homie, and we started Urban. 
with me, him, Josh, and them. He first of all, Urban our Urban Spring Break was the sickest shit to ever hit my wrist. <laughs> I'm just putting out there. Like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I remember introducing you to the producer back when we did Urban Spring Break. But what I also remember about back then was you bringing up the idea of starting a UE Carnival band. Mm -hmm. I know it went from, I wasn't the keenest on it, you know, it's rap, rap man's yeah, forever. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you, um, you, what does it feel like going from that idea to Aura? Like, what was the biggest challenge in starting Aura, which is the most talked about crop over band? What was the biggest challenge though? Well, you know, Aura was born out of a great bit adversity, you know. Um, let me just give you the back story on Aura in general. Um, shout out to my man Future. Future, we all know Future. You? Future been on the, in the game for a long time, you know. Also the manager of DJ Puppy. Yeah, also Puppy's manager. Um, so Future really is who brought me into the game. You know, um, he called me up one day and was like, yo, Rory, um, got this opportunity. At that time, we was with a different band before Ori Days. Right. You know, we was with a different band. Right. And he called me up and was like, yo, we got this opportunity to do this baby section in said band, you know? And um, he was like, yo, you'll be down to do it. And he was like, definitely, yeah, let me get on it. Um, so me and Future went, we did that, sold out. It was a big success. You know, um, but their business was not on point. Their business was, it was bad business because right. for different reasons, you know? Right. Um, so the biggest challenge was just farming aura in general because of like the whole the storyline and how it happened and stuff. And right. basically we didn't like what was happening with the other band. So we all pulled out and one day like Matthew and Lauren, they came by my house and they was just like, yo, Rory, let me start this new band. Let me just do this yourself. Let me start this new band. At that point, was it like a matter of transparency or you rather not mention like the business you practices? You know what happened? The bad business that you were speaking Oh yeah, of. It, was, it was definitely bad business practices, um, bad budgeting, overspending, you know, right. and then... Yeah, just yeah. not working out. I yeah, said. just not working out. So, um, so we, moved from, we moved from our previous band and they was just like, yo, Rory, let me start with your own thing. And at that time, the, the band, the name was Nova. Nova. Yeah, you know. It shout was out almost to Nova. To shout out to Nova in Bermuda. We actually doing a section with Nova in Bermuda. For real, it was yeah. almost Nova for crop over. Nova for crop over. So. I kind of like a little cleaner though. <laughs> <laughs> Aura, Aura, buddy. Aura all the way. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Anyway, so um, you know, we just got together and we, you know, we got the other partners, Rondell, Gerard, and like, we just got together. And, we basically start over and we say, you know, we can do this and we can do something different. Um, and the only way to really make a big impact in this game is to come different and to do everything better than the others. So yeah, for sure. from from down to our bar launches, to the sign up process, Amazing. to you, you distribution, you coming and collect your stuff. Everything is just on point. The production is dope. So. You know, we, we just like, we're going to be different, we're going to do it better. Matthew was like, we're going to like, market this better than everybody else. I and was that like, is Matthew's specialty. Exactly. Lauren was like, I can design costumes better than, better than everybody else. I say I can offer the best VIP experience, the best truck experience ever, you know. Lemongrass <laughs> on the road, though. Lemongrass on the road. We got Rondell, who's, I would say, hands down, was the best general manager in, yeah. in the in the band world. He's a right silent, silent killer. Yeah, he's hands on the best GM ever. So we got him on board. We just got like the best in every field. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Gerard is genius, financial genius. So like everything just like working out and hard work and the execution come off, play off, you know? You're not only in the business of crop over costumes, you also are in the business of urban wear, high-end urban wear. That's it. Uh, for someone that's under a rock and doesn't know what's going on, <laughs> what is Origin? And this is Origin, O-R-I-G-N. Yeah, no I forget before the last I, you know. Forget the last I. <laughs> but yeah, what is Origin? Origin? Pretend they don't know about it. Let me, like, give me the rundown. My Origin, Origin is the dopest, flyest, <laughs> cleanest, 
most innovative store out there, man. You know, a boutique store. Um, you would come and get the. It's, from the time you walk in, the experience is different to like when you're shopping in Barbados in general. You know what I mean? The, the whole layout, the minimalistic style, like everything yeah. is just different when you I come can in. Attest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, the music, everything inside the store is, is just a dope vibe when you come in there. And um, you know, the brands that we carry, great brands um, that you can't really find in the other stores either. Um, well, to the extent that we will have them either, you know, you will right. find like a couple pieces maybe in another store or something, but Origin got that, got that portfolio. <laughs> you know I mean? So, so tell me about these, like, like these exclusive brands. How did you form some of these relationships? You got, you have like BBC in there, you have Puma, you have Trapstar, you know what I mean? Like, let mm. us in, let us know like how, how you form some of these relationships that other people aren't blessed to have. Yeah, well, for one, it was always a, a dream of mine to have a store, you know. Uh, family business. Young, family, all my family, all my aunts, my uncles, my mother, everybody. We all we all in the retail industry in Barbados. And, you know, I always wanted to have a store, but everything in the right time too, you know. Um, so I wanted to, the music was one thing, but I wanted to diversify my business too, you know, so right. I just say, all right, let me start the store, let me open the store. So you as a rap head, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you go and know the name Emery Jones. Of course. All right? all right. Emery is the OG, that's the big homie, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was opening the store, I call her Emery. I was like, yo, Emery, you know, I got the store coming. Uh, Emery got the most connects like out to anybody like, <laughs> in the game. You know what I mean? He's Emery, that middle man. Yeah, he's the he plug. Every single body. So I was like, yo, Emery, like, um, are you opening this store? Um, I know you got connects. I need such and such. Such and such. Moving. Bye, you know? bye. He was like, say no more. You know what I mean? I got you, whatever. He plugged me into BBC. Nice. He plugged me into the Rock Nation. Nice. Obviously, he plugged me into Dope, plugged me into all these different brands. And I, I already had the, the, the relationship with Trapstar because yeah. Trapstar is the homies from time, you know? Like, yeah. been my boys from way back, so. I remember when one of those guys came in for crop over. When yeah, Lee, remember, yeah, Lee from Trapstar, he yeah, came he in, cool, cool we turned up, you know what I mean? So I had that relationship ongoing before, you know, we already got the, the Puma, the Fenty Puma, obviously. Right. Um, Chusis, um, mm -hmm. so I got the, the plug for Fenty Puma there too on that. Um, and so Emery really so connect me with all the brands. all the brands, you know, to get that synergy going and and make origin what it is today. So uh, we 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 about to be one year. By the time this come out, we might be one year. You know what I mean? March seventeenth is true. Actually, is a one year anniversary. So you doing something special? Yeah. So that's a nice thing. Origin and just a store is like a lifestyle brand too. You know, you got the events coming. Yeah. You know, you've you been had to two events already. Yeah, you've been to the events that we had. Both are dope. Some dope events. Um, I actually working right now with Future on uh, Origin radio show as well. So shout out to Future the content boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you definitely we gotta work on that too. The, the, it's not just like a I'm building a half my content hour. club, Future. Yeah, you see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ain't gonna just be like a half hour on the radio or hour right. on the radio. It's actually gonna be like an Origin radio show, like right, like no boom. Well Try to have them things back in day. With the imagery, the audio imagery, you know and everything is yeah. real cool. So we work on type the Origin Radio Show right now. <coughs> so you know, it's a lifestyle brand I build in with Origin too. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Yeah, I mean, um, coming. okay. So those are two ventures so far. Origin doing well, exclusive brands, and you're up at Lane Grove for those like for who doesn't know that. Um, so Aura and Origin. I was to ask you about Aura, but you could tell me between Aura and Origin. What was like your like panic moment like <laughs> when you were shitting bricks with Aura? Like the whole team shitting bricks, like panic mode, SOS. Anything you could share with us? Like one of those moments that people would never know about. That, right. <laughs> that everything could have fallen apart. And y'all like <laughs> pull everything back at last minute. Well, I had two of those, two, I got two of those stories, right? But. 
as as I tell you before, like we was with a, a different band before. So the first so, one was with that situation. No, no, no. It's okay. All okay. all aura. Right. All aura, right? But right. as I telling you, like we didn't just hop in the, the game, like fresh, fresh out. You know what I mean? We had like I would say when we was with the band before, that was like, our testing grounds. Like right. we 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 got to learn the business. You know, so a lot of the things like we execute amazing right now. Yeah. The execution amazing right now. So anything that would happen is things that you can't plan for. Right. Of course. You know it always I mean? happens. So the first one I would say was the our band launch last year. Mm -hmm. You know, like we had the venue set up crazy. Mm -hmm. The dopest set up ever for a band launch. I swear, right? I mean we first year it was dope, but it was last year was like on the next level. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everybody coming to the venue and was like, what is this? It's crazy, you know what I mean? But then like a, a nature happened, like I swear, <laughs> like the most, hurricane, the, the <laughs> most rain ever. Yeah, required rain show, downpour, showers, hit. Um, you can't plan for that. Yo, I had some suede Chelsea boots on, dude. Yo, you can't plan man. for that. So mm -hmm. the crow, the crow still came. The crow yeah. came later, a little, a bit later, mm -hmm. but it still came. You know, um, and. You know all the all the all the ladies they wear heels on the on the stage with their costumes. So I go on backstage now. I go on backstage. <laughs> <laughs> all the women backstage freaking out. Everybody in a panic, like, what we gonna do? What we gonna do? We gonna postpone this? What we gonna do? We was like, nah, like Lauren was like, nah, we can't postpone this. Let the girls go on the stage barefoot. Some ANTM shit. Yeah, well, every so it was split down the middle. It was like Every, people was like, nah, we can't go on the stage barefoot. <laughs> oh, we gonna do that, we're gonna talk, whatever, whatever. And then the other half was like, nah, let me just do this. You know what I mean? The, Some came out barefoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the individuals came out with the heels on. You know what I mean? Did any of the girls in heels got problems like walking? Nah, they, they pull it, it off. It was just a vibe. They pull it off. Scary. And like, to be honest, the rain was a blessing in disguise. Like, you see the you photos, see the, you see the photos? Yo. Yeah. The photos, that was the dopest Lighting on the ever. rain falling. The people was like, yo, what special so, effects is this? Like, was like, nah, it, this, this God ray. <laughs> you know what I mean? It definitely was, because it worked out in the end for real. I remember those being like some real standout photos. No one was angry with Aura. Right. But they were just angry with the rain. But the next day you wake up and you see these photos, it was like, Bomb. it was like so one of those men in black, like right. refreshed yeah. brains. We like, you forgot everything about last night. Yeah. And it was like, yo. And then girls, the, the, the second story, Mm -hmm. Last year, crop over. 2017, crop over, Kadumet Day. On the day. On the day. Mm -hmm. Everything set up. Everything prepped. Uh -huh. We ready to mash up the road. You know what I mean? The whole band coming out the stadium. We built, we, you know, Rihanna was on the road with us. Yeah. We built a truck specially for her, you know? Um, oh, I think I know what happened. I think I heard a lot. That's yeah. Talk to me. So talk we, to was, me. we was on the truck just waiting for everybody to come to the stadium and get going. You know, so they came out, the first truck started moving, the music truck started moving, and we were ready to go. So, you know, the truck chilling until we were ready to move up or whatever. And I hear this big explosion, bro. I hear this big explosion. It sounded like if a toy explode and then, like, deflate. Like, it sounded like deflation, like, you know what I mean? Like, and the truck, the truck, like, do this and just, like, sink <laughs> down. That's and, a West Coast thing. Yo. And low rating. Swear, like, that's something that you can't, you know what I mean? You can't do nothing. That's like, who is thinking? Check the tires, guys. It's, and it wasn't even my tires. It was the, a brake caliper that, like, blew. We had we had a bunch of engineers on the road with us, though, like, luckily. And, like, these men had to run, get cable toys, had to do, like, work their magic and, mm -hmm. like, unlock the brakes. Because the, the, the truck wouldn't move if the brakes had locked off, you know? So. We, we just had to work some sort of magic, and but that took me like a good 20 minutes running back and forth. Like I was flustered. I was like, "Yo." I remember because I, I was like trying to, I was trying to get my bond from you. You know what I yeah, mean? And I was there running up and down. That's saying that you can't. And I could just tell, you know what I mean? So that's why I just was like, "Let me just leave Rory right until later, man." Yeah, man. So like, and I think I heard when it the same noise you were yeah, talking yeah. about, and I was like, "Wait a minute, man, that had me issues." I was we was about to pull it off of the road. We was just like, "Yo, forget I'll it, cut it." You know what I mean? A band had actually get in front of us. You know what I mean? So I had to run and tell the marshal, like, yo, we need to get back in. 
and I called the man was like, yo, yeah, we got the, the situation started, right? And they drove the truck around the stadium, and as soon as I looked around, it was coming out from like next to calm here, you know what I mean? Perfection, God again, right? Yeah, it was like the mar I tell the marshal, yo, we good, so let me roll. And we was good. Because everything needs a story, B. In terms of everything else, the execution point road, yeah, it was everything perfect. else don't pop, drinks don't pop, yeah, breakfast don't pop, food at the end don't pop, everything don't yeah. pop, you know what I mean? Perfection. All right for crop, all right for crop, all right for crop. I don't know, was that like TC voice that this was in? <laughs> I was trying to think. I know we got one from there. All right, so like in, in times like that, when you got them issues, you know, sometimes you need like that shoulder to lean on, dog. So like, you know what I mean? Who's the way she right now, dog? You know what I mean? Like, yo. I'm not sure. Mine's won't put me in trouble, but me? always won't put me in trouble. Mm -hmm. Nah, single right now, man, you know? Enjoying life. But, you know, enjoying life, man. But single, focusing on all the different ventures. You know what I mean? Um, doing so well. Being an entrepreneur, and then I got music coming for 2018 that Tef supposed to be executive producing, but <laughs> but yeah, so, man, so you, you just told me uh, you only love your bed and your mom and your son. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Single right now, man. Just to like dig deeper into like what you look for in women and girls. Say origin, how to get his first ambassador. If a girl had to fight for that ambassadorship, like, what qualities would you be looking for? What would it take to be an origin ambassador if there was ever one? Um, a tough one, but I mean, the girl needs to be charismatic for sure, you mm -hmm. know? Um, she got, got amazing sense of style, a unique sense of style too, you know? Yeah. Um, don't really worry about your trends or follow your trends. Um, but just do her own thing. She gotta be social, cause our ambassador gotta be social. You know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, you can't sure. be one these girls. Like, oh, you know, like, you know, uh, <laughs> as the ambassador, you Typical. gotta be social. You know what I mean? And that's just some knowledge up there for whoever. But um, yeah, just definitely charismatic, unique sense of style, social. I mean, I, we been, we done some work with you, should, you know Nadia, Nadia Holmes. Yeah, yeah. We done Nadia. a lot of work with her before. Um, she got. She actually is working on some music that is gonna jump people. Blow a couple yeah. of money. She fit that quota good too. She like. Yeah, she is charismatic. She's a charismatic. Style. Yeah, she dope. So it's like, yeah, just be dope. <laughs> kind of wild. Love too. you too. Yeah, 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 exactly. So. But she is the perfect brand for that type of thing. Yeah. I bet any ambassador too. I have to be good at puffing like a cigar, right? <laughs> <laughs> a legato. You know what I mean? My, With style, they might have to. Not you know, does it incorporate everything? I mean, I don't mess with my segue, dog. Like, you know what I mean? And this is like, don't mess with my segue, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now I feel you. Talk to me about Legato. You launched a cigar brand, right? As if I couldn't talk about Aura Crop Over Brand, Origin Store, Legato, Legato lifestyle, Legato by Rory Fenty. Yes, sir. Hand rolled and packaged in Honduras. Yes, White sir. cigars. Is it a bear gang bear? <laughs> Did it just make sense? Ah, Talk to me. Nah, so basically, like, you know, I just, I definitely wanted to do something different, gain a different space from, like, everything that's happening here in Barbados, you know? Everybody doing parties, everybody doing cruises, everybody doing the same thing. So, so just hold the land. Yeah, so it's like, you know, I want definitely, like, venture to some place nobody else has been before in Barbados. Of course. Are thinking of going. You know what I mean? So um you know like my uncle he he he, he went to Honduras a couple years ago and he brought back some cigars and one day we was just chilling, puffing out some cigars, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. someone could share a lot but <laughs> just literally just chilling, chilling puffing, puffing out some cigars. And you know my uncle is a entrepreneur too, you know. Um, and we were just talking, and we was like, "He's a funny guy." Too. Yeah, let, let me get, let me get into this, let me get into this space. And he was like, "He knows some people that we could definitely work through and get this, get this, um, this product out." And we just, we just went about it that way, and that's how we started it. But it was definitely to. 
to diversify again. Once again, yeah, what you're doing. Because doing. it is about diversification. Exactly. You know, and that's, that's something I will tell any entrepreneur. Like, diversify your portfolio. As you plan to bring my man's vision on here in a couple of weeks to talk about Perfect. That perfect. You so, know? yeah, you know? So, uh, just, I just want to gain a space that nobody else is in and command that space and something that I could actually export as well. Right. Because yeah. That's very, that's very important. Very key. You know what I mean? To get into different markets. Because Barbados is Barbados, yeah. Barbados is home, but Barbados is Limited still... Limited numbers. Still 300,000 300, people. people. You know what I mean? Like, so, again, it was important to, to build something that I could export um, and that I could gain to... I could get all over the world because cigars... Tobacco in general is like... Yeah, that's the biggest ongoing. industry. Like, they want the top five regions in terms of cigars in the world, you know. The Legado brand is Cuban seeds, but grown in Honduras. Oh, wow. I didn't um, even know they were Cuban seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuban seeds grown in Honduras. Habana. Yeah, man. High quality cigars. They show no cliche words. They show no cliche words. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Legado, Legado, do, Legado doing great. We ain't even launched yet. We launched at the end of this month, 31st. We're actually building a Legado, Legado launch. <clears throat> and where's that launch going to be? And the the Baca Dukes. Okay. So the Baca Dukes is actually going to yeah. be the Legado Lounge. I know that area. Yeah. So we're actually redoing the whole thing, um, and we're going to do the launch there, the end of this month, thirty first. So look out for you invite real soon. Make sure you did. Yeah, don't tell me my Ray. <laughs> nah, nah, don't. Nah, not me. Me. <laughs> I don't come up puff a cigar. You know what I mean? I might sniff it for you. <laughs> I'll sniff it for you. That's the next thing. Like the, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, not big on cigars, but they try it and they love yeah. it. You know? The excitement, the excitement there, bro. The excitement, yeah. crazy. And we ain't even launch it. That's the thing. You know what I mean? So and every time I go to the same spots, I'm speaking about people are buying them. Yeah, definitely. So you know, that's that's great. And I can only imagine the opportunities in Latin America. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Speaking of outside of here, I saw you at this Arsenal match with the fam, all on Instagram, all in the mix. You know what I mean? Somebody messaged me from London, like, your friend is with my team. You know what I mean? That's so, why I, I do that just for TJ. TJ is an Arsenal TJ fan. TJ is the Arsenal fan. Well, you know, I, I know. just went for his birthday. Fair enough. It was a good experience. But you know that I know that you're a Juventus man. Juventus to the end, brother. I know a Juventus match going on right now, this minute. Right now. <laughs> yes, Tottenham. Who, who the, like, tell me, who's the underrated team if you're a Juventus man? Who, sorry, who is the overrated team right oh, now? Because I would say All Juventus underrated for sure. For you know? Yeah. Because people... I expect you to say that. People, yeah, but it's the truth. You know what I mean? People is going like... It's like Juventus... Serious. Se as serious as they should. You know what I mean? Now, we've been to two finals in the last three years. Mm -hmm. Accolades. You know what I mean? So... And I've been to one of those... I've been to the final last year. Oh, really? Man. man. That would be an experience for you, man. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, <laughs> crazy experience, man. So... Um, I mean, just because we playing Tottenham today, I would say English teams. I ain't gonna call them a one team, but English teams, I would say overrated. Ah, smart answer. Because English teams, you might just call them Man U. teams, Man Yo. Yo. It's a Man Yo or Man U? Man, it's a Man Yo. <laughs> Don't worry what I do. Oh, uh, somebody. <laughs> but at the same time. What was that? You one love down? Nah, nah, nah. The Tottenham? Nah, nah, nah. Don't worry uh, what I do. I saw it, Doug. England, man, the English teams have been competitive enough in the last couple of years, in the last few years. So I, I would say that the overhype, ain't that the bad? It's yeah, just yeah. overrated. Is that because of the shifting around or like, you know, trades and stuff, though? Or you think they just overrated from time? I mean, like, football is cycles, man. It's you know true. what I mean? Like, it's like, Italy used to be running things. That style of play not really working right now. Yeah, man. Italy used to be running things. Then England had a time. Then Spain had a time. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's cycles, man. So, I just feel like the Prime had like a real transitional time in the last few years. So if, if Juventus had to somehow out of this world dissolve and not be a team anymore, you were forced to support that another team. <laughs> too big to fail, buddy. They're trying to get you that name that, you you hear that, that uh, phrase? Too big, too to, big feel. to fail. Too big to fail. Juventus buddy. forever. The largest team in Italy <laughs> by far. So I can't see it happening. I mean, I can't never say never, but I can't see it happening in the foreseeable future. Alright, cool. And yeah, I'm yeah. not gonna make you name call anybody in a positive light outside of Juventus. <laughs> you know your football is real touchy. Yeah. But I uh you know whenever I do this I always got something else to do, so I'm gonna get this to go. Yeah. But there was one thing I, I always had to tell you like 
I, I always admire and admired the way that your 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 family and your close friends are so like close knit and supportive of one another is not a fake vibe. It's a very real vibe that <clears throat> permeates from you guys, and everybody could see it. And it's a really good example. Like, I want to know if to you did that play any part in like your recent successes and getting these things together, and you know the progress that you've made, or how important is it to you? Well, support in general is crucial. You know, to any anyone's success, um, and we do have a very close knit family. Um, all of my friends, my, my whole friend group, very close. I consider them family too. You know, um, so they all play play a role, man. They like when I was opening Origin, like they all came down, um, help, help, help. Um, just like steaming the clothes, like little <laughs> things that like Everything. I didn't even have to ask for. You know. It was just there for me, and um, I don't take that for granted at uh, all, you know. Um, my mother was there, my mother was working harder than I was working on the day. The original store owner. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, like, having family that you could count on and friends that you could count on is definitely important. Um, I know she must be proud of you right now, too. Yeah, man, I, I hope so, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I, good son, I never do nothing really to disappoint. So. Nothing really. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? I hope she's proud, you know. Yeah, that's sure she is, bro. Thanks for having me, though. That's the truth, you know. Yeah, man. Shout out really to Bunch of Shout out to my man, Ty. Shout out to my man, Rory. Yep. I guess the next time they're going to hear you from my coin is music. 100%. So insecure, too, boy, you know. I had to, uh, I done judging girls. I don't, think <laughs> we, I don't think we could do another song judging girls. I think nah, we should shift nah, the topic nah. for now. Up uplifting. It's, uplifting. It's a different women. time right now. <laughs> I'm lifting you. I've been man. waiting alone. <laughs> it's, it's true, it's true, it's true. Alright, cool. We're gonna get this to go, man. Cool.